In Ridgewood, Queens, tradition and pride come together at a neighborhood butcher shop. You work long days. What is your typical day like on the job? Uh, the old butcher saying was that here at Marsh's Pork Store, we have banker's hours. We only work a half a day from six in the morning until six o'clock at night. <laughs> I'm Herbert Morsher. I've been a partner here since 1999 and I worked for the company since 1981. Look, I'm making pork crackers. Tell me, where are we today? <laughs> oh, we are at Marsh's Pork Store, 5844 Catalpa Avenue, Ridgewood, New York. And what is this place? How do you describe it to someone who's never been? Old fashioned butcher shop, mom and pop operation where we're manufacturing all of our bolognese, hot dogs, smoked meats from scratch and selling it over the counter, plus all the fresh cuts as well. And tell me the origin of this place. How did it first get started? Uh, it was from my cousin who started the business. My Actually, my great uncle started the business and formerly Yugoslavia, which was Slovenia, an area called Goce. And then uh, after the war, they migrated to the United States. This is my Uncle John. I am I'm going to be 86 next month. Congratulations. Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you like about the job? I live in a butcher business all my life. This is one of our holding boxes. Whoa. You're never scared of getting locked in this room by accident? Mark standing right outside. Okay, you can knock. <laughs> So you speak German? I wissen Deutsch, aber es muss wir müssen unsere Muttersprache nicht vergessen. Meine Mutter hat immer gesagt, that means you can't forget your mother language. I was born here in the States. My mother was born here in the States, but we did speak German at home. Wow, okay. And all of you have different languages represented. Yes. How do you think that helps with the business? Oh, sure. When a customer comes into the store and they speak a certain language, you want the customer to feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. And speaking their language oh, already cuts that and makes them feel at home. Mm -hmm. How long have you been coming to Morshers? Since the early 60s. Wow. Is when I came to the United States. Oh my Austria. god. From, from Austria? Yeah. And it seems like this place is a real fixture of the neighborhood. Oh, it's, like it's, a it's wonderful. <laughs> Really. Oh, His yeah. father was wonderful. I mean, yeah, Herbie is wonderful. Hi. I've been coming here for 50 years. And what makes you love this place? Uh, it's traditional food from uh, from our area where my folks lived in Slovenia. I have bone-in holiday hams. One ham is about 20 pounds. It has this amazing campfire has, smell from the wood. Right. What is the secret to your success, how this business has survived? Yeah, the secret to our success, I always say, is that we always gave the people good value for their money. People work very hard for their money. This business, you were saying, is your, your family tradition. Yes. What does it mean to you to be able to carry this on? Oh, it means it means a lot to me. Uh, I know my father's very proud. My parents, you know, they're very proud of me. And my, my sisters and my wife. And, humbling for me that you know you keep the tradition going yeah. and that the people do come back and mm -hmm. shop. What do you hope for the future of more shares? Oh I hope that the business does continue you know mm -hmm. uh, right now I'm not looking to retire it's just you know I keep chucking along it's yeah. not even in my, my thinking yet right and that being said you hear my smokehouse is calling me. Okay. Here it <laughs> should we go should we go check it out? <laughs> Hello <laughs>